is Heather with Feather Bear Designs. Uh, if you guys have seen the geode cups floating around in the different groups, um, then you know I've been tagged a million times. Um, not that that bothers me at all. I appreciate the tags. Um, asking about the tutorial. Well, here it is, guys. Um, I had done a couple different pieces of the tutorial, and they're all over the place. So, um, Rather than sending people to different places to find the bits and pieces that I did, I'm just going to go ahead and recreate the whole thing start to finish. Um, there's what is a lot of hang-ups with that tutorial. Um, it was a rough one to get done because of all the different steps, but I'm just going to start it and then I'm going to finish it. So you guys are going to see a few different versions of me on this video because it's actually going to be filmed over a couple of days span. So the first step is going to be applying epoxy to the cup and applying the chunky glitter to the epoxy. So um, I'm gonna be using a variety of different chunky glitters. I'm gonna be using this big chunky pink from Target. I'm gonna be using chunky bling from Recollections. Can you guys see that? It doesn't wanna focus. I'm gonna be using this purple mix from Target, Chunky Muse, which is the large version of Muse, and then I think I'm going to use a little bit of this super chunky iridescent black because it's just so pretty. So the first step is going to be applying the epoxy to the cup and getting the chunky glitter down because putting the chunky glitter on top of the epoxy is the best way to get a smooth finish. Now, once the glitter is applied to the epoxy, I'm gonna let it cure and then I'll apply one layer of epoxy over the top to make sure it's sealed and smooth before painting. So first step, epoxy, chunky glitter. Let's get right into it. I'm gonna lower you guys down so you can see what I'm doing. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is equal parts, you won't be able to see this, but equal parts of my epoxy. I did uh, one pump, I used the gallon sizes, so one pump of part A, one pump of part B. And then I'm just going to stir that up until it's completely and thoroughly mixed. You guys want to make sure that you're stirring this really, really well. Now when you first start stirring it, it turns kind of cloudy. But as you get it completely mixed together thoroughly both sides, it turns clear again. Once it turns clear, you know you're good for application. Make sure you're scraping the sides really well, scraping the bottom to get any portions of that completely mixed together to prevent the tacky cups. You know, the ones that don't want to dry after a couple days. Okay. I'm just going to grab a glove. Get my turner going. Hopefully do this where you guys can see. I'm just going to dump some epoxy on. Not getting it too thick. I just want a thin layer on the cup. This is just going to serve as a base for the chunky glitter. And I'm using a 20 ounce hog. If you guys have not used hogs yet, check out the Stainless Depot on Facebook. I will link below in the comments. Irene has the best customer service, you guys, and if you're a first-time purchaser, let her know that I sent you, that you saw the hogs on my video. It 
I'm just making sure that the entire cup is coated. Okay, and then I'm going to start doing the glitter. So let's start with the pink from Target, the chunky pink. These have a little turner on the side where you can turn to let the glitter out. So I'm just going to shake that around. I'm actually going to open this up a little bit so I can get a little bit more going at once. Okay, so I got some pink down. Last minute uh, mind change on this. I'm gonna add some of this light purple holographic from Martha Stewart and this turquoise holographic from Martha Stewart. So for the silver, the um, chunky bling, I'm going to put some in my hand because it pours out really fast. And then I'm just going to start sprinkling that on. The purpose of this is to use different iridescent holographic colors and get a bunch of different colors mixed down on the bottom, bottom layer, the glitter, so that when you, after you're done painting and you're removing the paint, the glitter underneath looks like a geode because it's multi-dimensional. And it gets multi-dimensional by using a bunch of different colors. Okay. Now I'm going to use this turquoise holographic from Martha Stewart. the light purple holographic sprinkling all of these different colors on here just gives it that rainbowy type feel to where you don't have just one solid color underneath and it really gives it a lot of character after the next steps And everything that's falling on this paper below, I'm going to end up saving because I'll go back and I will add whatever remnants I will add to it if I need any more space filled. So I'm going to use the Chunky Muse now from Recollections. I'm going to pour that into my hand. Okay, so there's all of my chunky glitter. I got a pretty good base of chunky glitter down. Let me get what's left on my hands. I 
I think just for fun, I'm going to go ahead and add this tiny triangular. It's a silver holographic, and it's in tiny diamond shapes from Martha Stewart. It's called Sterling. I know that that won't focus, but I'm just going to add that to have it stick anywhere that there's still epoxy, just because it's so pretty. The diamond-shaped Martha Stewart I purchased from eBay. I was not able to find that anywhere else. Okay, guys. That's it for the first step. I have glitter in my hair. Surprise, surprise. So basically that's all you do. You put your epoxy down on the cup, you sprinkle on your chunky glitter, and then you let it cure. Now the uh, if you see any pieces of glitter sticking up, any of your chunky glitter, then just tap them with your finger and encourage them to lay down. Now after this is done curing, I usually let mine go overnight. Add another layer of epoxy, but that's going to be in the next part of the video so you guys stay tuned for that but that's what we're preparing prep preparing for is um, after this step is done and cured then you're going to be adding another coat of epoxy before you start painting so um yeah if you want to know ahead of time i can try to give you guys some ideas but um we're going to be painting in the next step so if you want to gather your spray paint um at least two different colors then um we'll be doing that soon as well Thanks for tuning in guys and stay tuned for the next part of the video. Hi guys, um, I am back for part two of part one, I guess. Um, I'm going to try to lump all of this into the first segment of the geo tutorial. Uh, I did the first part of it where I applied the epoxy and applied the chunky glitter onto the cup. Um, I let that cure and now I'm going to apply the epoxy to it so that I have a smooth finish so that I can do my painting. So let me get you guys down here where you can see. I'm going to be using a Lumalite clear cast epoxy and I'm going to be using equal parts of part A and part B. I have the pumps, so I do one pump of part A and one pump of part B. Or if you're going to be using less, use a half pump of each. And then just mix that up until it is completely clear again. Grab a glove. And I'm going to just start adding the epoxy. It's going to be kind of hard to do that where you guys can see, but I'm going to dump the epoxy on and I'm going to smooth it out.
just smoothing the epoxy around so I can make sure it covers the entire cup. My gloves are too big. These are awkward to use. I gotta go pick up more gloves tomorrow. Okay. I have a good solid coat of epoxy on there. I'm gonna let that turn and set up. The goal is to have a completely smooth cup before I start applying the paint. If there are bumps and ridges in the epoxy when you start doing your spray painting portion of this, um, you're gonna see all of those. So smooth cup before you start painting. It's super important. So that is uh, the conclusion of the first part of the video. When I come back, I will be showing you guys how to layer the spray paint. And then after the spray paint, we'll come back and I'll show you how to remove the spray paint to make the geode. So thanks for tuning in guys. I will be back shortly. Hi guys. I'm back with the third part of the video. Um, I, you won't be able to see me in this part of it because I'm, I have to spray paint the cup. So this is the tumbler coated in glitter, coated in epoxy from the first two parts of the video. The first layer of spray paint that I'm going to be putting on is Rust-Oleum. It's a semi-gloss black. Why doesn't that want to focus? There we go. So I'm using the black as the first coat, and then I'll be back to show you what the next coats are after this dries. I'm going to go ahead and shake up my paint. See if I can do this without any extra hands. I'm holding the spray can about 12 to 14 inches away so you guys can't even see the spray can but okay so that is completely coated in black now you'll see there's a couple spots where there was some glitter sticking up like up around here around the top um, that's gonna get like super coated with epoxy later on so and this is really just me showing you the process you want to make sure that these cups are pretty smooth before you do this because you can see everything what I'll do is when I go through and I'm removing the paint <clears throat> I will concentrate on those areas and remove the paint from those areas so that you don't see that, so that I won't remove any paint from these smooth sections, if that makes sense. All right, guys, I'm going to let this dry, and I will be back to show you the next coat. Okay, guys, so we left off with the black spray paint. I painted the whole thing black. I let it sit for about an hour so that it would dry. The next color that I'm going to be layering on top is... This color, what is it? It's peacock blue. Come on camera, focus. Gloss peacock blue. It's a turquoise, it's Valspar outdoor anti-rust. It's just one that I picked up that I thought was a pretty color. <coughs> Excuse me. So that's completely coated now. I'm going to let this dry and I will be back with the next step. Okay guys, I'm back with the final part of the spray paint. Um, the teal layer is now dry. So the next layer that I'm going to do is going to be a matte white. I'm using Krylon Matte White Color Master Paint. I'm just going to spray that on as the final layer. I hope I have enough. My can is almost empty.
still holding the can about 12 inches away, trying to account for some of the wind blowing here. That's it for the white layer. I'm going to let that dry, and then as soon as that's dry, I'll be back with the next part of the video.